from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Monday, June 24th. Okay, so here we are, Monday, Moon Day, and the Moon is currently in Aquarius energy. The Moon in Aquarius means that we are emotionally detached from our current circumstances in order to act as the observer, to see ourselves and our situations from a different perspective, a different set of eyes, so that we can start thinking outside of the box in order to come up with some solutions to free us from a lot of the challenges and obstacles that very much became illuminated to us under the moon in Capricorn energy, especially with that full moon in Capricorn just a couple of days ago. The moon in Aquarius is going to have us pushing to be better, pushing for us to improve, seeing things from a different set of eyes, a bigger, broader perspective, putting us in a very visionary type of mindset to figure out where it is that we want to end up. We get to kind of reverse manage the steps needed in order for us to get to where it is that we desire to be from where it is that we're currently at. Again, thinking outside of the box, seeing the greater grander vision and the inner workings of our current situation and circumstance. And from that, some aha moments, some epiphanies will be popping off. There are 10 different aspects taking place here today. Nine of them are going to involve the moon. So first off, the moon in Aquarius energy is coming up to bumping into teaming up with conjuncting Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. Again, a reminder, Pluto's time retrograde in this Aquarius energy is highlighting the power struggle that is currently going on within us between ego versus higher self, old version versus new version of self, inner realm versus outer realm, and really trying to kind of break the old patterns, break the old habits, break the old perspectives, if you will, in order to improve, in order to actually empower ourselves to do things differently. So a conjunction is a reset, just as much an ending as it is a beginning. We are going to feel the weight kind of be lifted off of our shoulders and off of our heart space from a lot of the heaviness, a lot of the weight that we've been experiencing since entering into that solstice energy, into cancer season, and smack dab into that full moon in Capricorn. The moon is then going to make a very tough interaction with the sun, of course, in Cancer energy. This is an illumination, if you will, an aha moment, an epiphany on our emotional wants, needs, and desires. And unfortunately, because this is a tougher aspect, the aha moments, the epiphanies are going to be illuminated out of the challenge, out of the blockages, out of the realization that we don't want to go back to some of the situations and circumstances that we just bought our way away from, that we don't want to continue doing the same old, same old. It is an aha moment, an epiphany that comes out of struggle, that comes out of tension. The moon then semi-squares, creating a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline in this Pisces energy, really helping us to deconstruct our old ways of doing, our old ways of being, our old ways of seeing, of believing, of really understanding what needs to be removed out of our physical lives and circumstances in order for us to pursue a new path. The moon interacting with Saturn in this way, definitely going to bring on some reality checks, going to bring on some tension, going to illuminate where it is that there's a part of us resisting, moving on, resisting, bossing up, resisting, taking accountability and responsibility for our energy, for our actions, for our contribution to some of the shit show circumstances that we currently find ourselves in. The moon then is going to trine beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy. This is a harmonious energy because this is air on air action. So there's a lot of intellectual stimulation. There's a lot of new ideas, inspiring situations that are really pushing us into seeing where it is that we have the opportunity to move on, to grow, to evolve, to heal, to actually see where it is that some of the tough love life lessons that we're currently having a hard time accepting and dealing with is actually a launching point, a catapulting point for us to be free to pursue a path that is much more in alignment with our higher selves, wants, needs, and desires than our old egoic programming ever had us aligned with. We've made some bad choices 
because we've been operating out of our pain and trauma programming, again, the ego. Whereas now we have the wisdom, we have the knowledge, we have the experience backing us to see where it is that, yeah, those tough love life lessons were essential for our growth, for our healing. But now we can choose to not find ourselves kind of overwhelmed with all the things that didn't go the way that we wanted them to. And instead, we can start focusing, visualizing on what it is that we have the ability to build, to create, to bring to life from here. The moon is then going to make a tough interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money now in this cancer energy, very connected to the emotional realm, to what was to what could have been again very nostalgic very much romanticizing the past we're having a hard time understanding that some relationship dynamics have popped off really pushing us to see that certain people will not be a part of the future vision that we're currently trying to kind of you know design restructure in our mind's eye Emotionally speaking, we're going to be illuminated to where it is that certain situations, certain circumstances, certain people didn't have the ability to fulfill our wants, needs, and desires in the first place. It was us focusing in on the quote unquote potential of what could have been, not accepting them, life, reality, as it actually was. This is going to put us in a situation to identify what it is that we weren't getting, what we were lacking, and in turn, building ourselves up with bigger, broader guidelines, bigger, broader understanding of what it is that we need to feel safe and secure and stable, not only in our inner realm of emotion, but in our physical circumstances with certain people as well. The moon in Aquarius going to make a positive interaction with the sun in Cancer energy. Definitely a better interaction than we had earlier on in the day. This means that there is a new aha moment, a new emotional awareness of our wants, needs, and desires, especially feeding off of that tougher interaction with Venus that we just had. This is going to be an epiphany on what it is that we want to do, what we need to create, what we need to pursue that is going to fulfill us, stabilize us, and actually give us the opportunity to stand on our own two feet, to stabilize in the emotional realm that has been very, very choppy as of late. This is going to be a little bit of a glimmer, a little bit of a shimmer of some of the things that we now want to align with, want to manifest, and want to pursue. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. This is highly significant of us seeing where it is that we are growing, we are healing, where it is that emotionally speaking, we're actually feeling a lot more positive, a lot more optimistic about the future than we thought we would, especially in the midst of endings and closures, the way that they've been kind of projected on us due to some situations falling apart under that full moon in Capricorn energy. The moon is then going to get into the boxing ring, square off with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our passion, our desires, even our anger in this Taurus energy. So basically, we are having these epiphanies, we're realizing what we're closing the door on, we're realizing what it is that we want to kind of be building towards. But now, we're having a little bit of an issue because we have ants in our pants. We want to make the changes now. We want to make the adjustments now. We want to declare this new path now, but it's not time to do that. It's time to start again being very clear on what it is that we are and are not willing to tolerate, what we are and are not wanting to experience. And we have to cultivate a new sense of self, a new sense of self-confidence, self-esteem, self-love. That Taurus energy that Mars is in needs us to be building ourselves up to a new place of safety, security, stability within ourselves before we go ahead and start advertising the major changes that we're willing to make that we need to make in order to actually move on. This is definitely going to highlight frustration, definitely going to highlight our, let's call it impatience, and definitely going to interfere with some of the inspiring, exciting visuals that we've been trying to actually get a grip on. The moon is then going to sextile the north node in Aries energy. The north node is trying to get us on the right path to be more independent, to break free of codependent relationships, to do what we need to do to fulfill the wounds, the pain, the trauma, the voids within ourselves, and to actually grow and heal and evolve, moving in a different path, moving in a different direction. 
the moon in Aquarius energy being as visionary as it is, is giving us an opportunity to see some moves, albeit maybe small moves. Mars, by the way, in Taurus energy is a slow, steady action, slow, steady pace in a new direction. The moon interacting with the North Node is giving us a glimpse of some of the options that we now have available to us to create distance away from the path that has collapsed that we're no longer walking and create a little bit more of a safer distance towards the things that we know that we have to do, the things that we know we have to pursue. The last thing that we have going on here today is Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, making a very positive interaction with that north node. So this is a beautiful thing because yeah, we had impatience, yeah, we had impulse, yeah, we had anger and frustration peak up to show us what it is that we're now passionate about, where it is that we wanna hit the fast forward button through this you know, time of adjustment, this time of difficulty, in order to actually clear away the debris from the past and actively start moving towards a new path, a new destination in our future. This particular element is not only giving us the inspiration, the motivation, the determination to do the things that we know are likely gonna be hard in order to break away from the old and actually initiate the new, but also kind of cool the ants in our pants down just a tad. We realize where it is that there is this aspect where we wanna rush through things, where we want to kind of declare the new path, where we wanna share our ideas with other people, where we wanna kind of push the direction moving forward. but. Again, slow and steady wins the race. And it is going to give us an opportunity to kind of fire us up in our inner realm to get the feelings that we need to have, the emotions that we need to have, the mindset that we need to have in order to actually start walking this brand new path. So yeah, there is this want, need and desire to take action and make moves and to declare, you know, I'm, I'm going this way, I'm, I'm done with that way. But at the same time, we have to kind of have patience. We have to put ourselves on pause. We have to understand that if we truly want things to work out the way that we want them to, the best thing you can do is keep that information, that plan to yourself. This is going to allow us to kind of, you know, get our strategy together. It's going to give us time to kind of collaborate with, you know, in conversation with other people that may give us light bulb moments on how it is that we can kind of, you know, pursue and make some progress on this path a little bit quicker. But overall, this is about us very much thinking about the very well calculated very fine-tuned execution of the plan that we now need to be very detailed about before we engage the physical body to take action and to make moves. This is us, again, cultivating the inner spark, the inner fire needed in order for us to push through this very tough time of adjustment.